Pretty exciting action here. Andrew, uh, what is your thoughts so far on what you've seen this year? Oh, we're very excited, and the team's been very excited. It's been a great uh, tournament, lots of action, and, and great hockey to watch. Well, looks like we got a scrap here, Doug. Let's get a shot of this. <laughs> oh, quick right hand, and he's down. That's the end of that. Oh, these guys are fighting for position, so it's uh, fast, hard-hitting hockey. It's, you know, it's been very exciting to watch. You guys have changed the tournament a little bit this year. Talk about some of the things you added. Yeah, we uh, added to make it more of a hockey festival atmosphere, so to, no matter who was drafted or not drafted, it, it was a must, must attend for any hockey fan, so we, we added a Canucks business breakfast to tie in the business community. Uh, we're really excited we attended, had a, an alumni game. Eventually it'll be the alumni of all the teams that are playing against the Canucks alumni, and we added minor hockey day yesterday. We had a big party on the plaza, so there was lots of, lots of activities going on for kids. There was street hockey, there was a Luongo cutout, there was poster making. Um, really create happy festival atmosphere. It has been great, and uh, I'm just not saying that personally. I'm, I'm saying that from all the other teams, too, that I have been able to talk to some of the management and some of the other teams, maybe Winnipeg or San Jose or Edmonton, Calgary, and all that. They've been very, very happy with it. You know, I think a lot has to do with the people that are that are working behind the scenes, maybe the staff from the event center, maybe from the people from City Hall that work endless hours and, and the other people that are, are there are, are the people that are, are volunteering their time too and it makes a big difference. So Devin, you live in Vancouver but you're a Jets fan. Yes, yes, diehard Jets fan, originally from Manitoba, uh, moved out to Vancouver for work but I've stayed a Jets fan the whole time. You came up here with a, a carload of Canucks fans. Yes, essentially, which made for an interesting drive. Uh, yeah, it was about a four hour drive out here and uh, a lot of arguing on the way and probably even more arguing on the way back. Is there anybody there you like today on the Jets? Uh, Joshua Morrissey's a pretty good on player. Jacob Truba? Yeah, Truba kid looks pretty good. I got him in my hockey pools. Jacob Truba's been fantastic. He's, he seems to be the most consistent guy out there that I've seen as far as being able to play his position and uh, knowing where to be and got a blistering shot. I'm um, a big Shifley fan just because he was the first guy drafted by the, the, the new franchise, so he's kind of grown up with the franchise. He's looked great out there. Uh, a lot of the guys have been looking really good, so things are looking hopeful this year. I am a fan of number 26, Corrado. Yeah. Is that because he played a few games last year with the Canucks? Yes. He's a good player. He plays hard. He tries hard. He seems to be a good role model for the team. What about Bo Horvat and Hunter Schenkerk, the two first-rounders? you like those uh, guys? I'm more impressed by Subban, actually. Are you? Yeah. Why is that? Just the way he is with the puck and great reads. You think the Canucks might have got a steal there in the fourth round, eh? Yeah. So, Elise, looks like you got some pretty cool jerseys here. What are you guys uh, moving here? To? What are the fans buying? Uh, a lot of people are buying uh, the jerseys, women jerseys, kids jerseys, the little pint sized ones. Um, a lot of scarves actually. We used to have these little like stuffies, the thin stuffies. We completely sold out of those over the weekend. So The mascot's popular. Yeah, the mascot's very popular. So depending on what happens here in the third period, it should make for an interesting uh, trip back with your Canuck fans. Absolutely, yeah. It uh, could be an interesting week as well. So I uh, work with a lot of Canuck fans, so I could get a lot of ribbing or I might have a lot of uh, ammo to throw their way, so we'll see. You're looking for, for a lot, mostly uh, their vision of the, the ice and what they're able to do with the puck, their team game and their consistency throughout the, the tournament. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've learned a lot of new things. Um, you know, been around a, a lot of good hockey players and, and definitely picked up a lot. So uh, it's been a great week and, you know, I can't wait to see what the future has now. Oh, he was good. You know, he provided energy. Uh, you know, you can see he's real skilled with the puck. He's got great hockey sense. Uh, he wants to score goals like a lot of top goal scorers, and uh, I was happy with how he played. Energy uh, on a consistent basis. When you have that energy, sometimes you only see it in certain times of the game, but he brings it every, every game. He has that energy. He has no fear of where he goes uh, in the corners in front of the net, and he has a lot of skill. If he has that extra second out there, he's a guy that can finish. So when you have that package, I think for me, uh, what I've been very impressed with him uh, over this last uh, few days is this consisting as a game. He does that every night. It's not easy to do. It's been good. Uh, you know, a lot of good hockey, uh, pretty high intensity. And, uh, you know, you can tell guys want to make an impression. So it was, uh, you know, it was a good tune-up for main camp. Yeah, he was good. I mean, he's, he's a real good player. There's no doubt one of, the, you know, one of our better defensemen here for sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him at camp. You know, it's always interesting when you see a player like him coming to a situation where he's had the success last year, he had the playoffs at the NHL level, but coming into this camp, you wonder what his mentality is, is, is where he's thinking is, and he's been a leader right from day one. 
Yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, yeah, I thought the whole team played uh, extremely well this weekend. We all, we all bonded together as a team really well, I thought. And uh, guys came to play every single night, and I think that uh, it made it that much easier for me to kind of get into it and get used to it. I think we're going to meet right now and go over all the numbers, but uh, I think we had 30 guys here. We'll probably see 20 guys go on to main camp. So uh, you know, it was a good test for them this week, and, and they should. I think it'll help them heading into main camp. It's going to take a lot of hard work. Uh, there's a lot of great players in this organization, a lot of great players coming up that are, you know, and, uh, they're going to want that spot. And, but uh, I just think as long as I keep working hard, playing my game, do it, uh, do what's gotten me here, I think uh, I think I got a pretty good shot. You know, I'm definitely going to have to be good every single practice and every game. So, um, you know, it's, it's definitely not going to be an easy task, but I'm excited for it. I mean, the chance to make an NHL team at 18 is something I've looked forward to my whole life. They're going to be, I think, a little intimidated walking into that, and that's fine. They've been in the pressure situations before, and that, but they've got to go out and play their game, and they've got to create opportunity for them because if they're going to stand around and, and respect too much of the, of the veteran players out there, they're going to get lost. They've got to go out and play their game. To do what I can, work hard, and show what I can do, and if they like me, they'll keep me. If yeah. not, I'll, uh, I'll uh, go back down and keep working hard until I get there. Well, I thought he had a, uh, a really strong tournament. Um, you can see that uh, obviously the reason why he was drafted where he was, uh, he played with a lot of poise, a lot of polish, and uh, he's a hard player to play against. So um, I was impressed with what I've, uh, what I've seen here. So uh, if he continues down this path, this is a development path, uh, he'll be in a good place.